Okay, so the description said open source around the world, right? And there is quite a bit of open source around the world, but let's talk about bunnies, I mean me first. Um, I'm open source community manager and I need to speak louder. I can yell at you all, no problem. So, uh, I'm community manager for OpenSUSE and a big part of my job is to, you know, uh, travel around the world and, and go to local communities, talk to people about what they're doing, uh, of course visit conferences, um, but for me at least my main reason to go to wherever it is, is to really meet people locally and, you know, try to help them build up local communities. Um, so those people in OpenSUSE, we call them ambassadors, right? The people who are trying to build up local communities, who go to conferences for us, who try to represent um, or promote the OpenSUSE community. And most of them are um, doing that because they think OpenSUSE is really cool, right? They, they believe in it for one reason or another. I think as community, uh, you know, we really have quite a bit of drive because I think... I mean, there's of course a lot of Linux distros, and technically, uh, and I know this is a bit of a heresy, but personally, I think those technical differences, they're not so big. I mean, if you slip in an Ubuntu in your computer, or a Fedora, then yeah, whether you have Unity, or, or Gnome Shell, or you put in OpenSUSE, or Arch Linux, or well, okay, Gentoo, you know, if it compiles, uh, move it, or was it the other way around? Those things, they're different, absolutely. But in the end, you know, hey, you can always start to compile your own stuff and, and make everything into everything, right? It's open source what we do. And that is actually the point of it. The thing behind it, the people who do the distributions, that is what actually matters. The distribution itself, it's the technology, it's cool. Uh, and yeah, there are differences between distros, but it's really about the people. So uh, and I think in that regard, OpenSUSE is a bit special. Um, okay, we're all special, um, but, you know, the, the philosophy behind our distro, and at least behind a what a lot of people here think, uh, what they work on, I really like that. Uh, I, 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 try, I made this at some point uh, in an attempt to try to write down these things. I mean, this, this is my idea of what OpenSUSE believes. It's not sure if this really, you know, is shared with everyone, but I'd like to think that to a great, deg great degree this does describe how we work, right? I mean, you can think, uh, look at our GitHub repository, that's where our code is. You can look at um, OBS, that's where our packages are. This, this is all done in a, you know, working together way, and, and that's really central to who we are. And this is what the ambassadors are there to, to bring out, right? So, and that's also why I personally think it's important to go to these events, to meet these ambassadors and talk to these people, because culture, which is what we believe and what we do, is something you don't share so easily. I mean, culture is a complicated thing, right? I sometimes describe my job as drinking beer with people, although I don't really drink alcohol very much. I do, of course, mean the sitting with them and just talking casually about things, because that is how you, you spread culture. And again, this is also their job, right, to explain to people what it is that makes OpenSUSE different. And then you can say, yeah, there's Yast, okay, that does make us a bit different, other distros don't have it, but is it really the te technology that makes us different? I mean, to a large degree, I think it's actually OBS that makes OpenSUSE different, because OBS shows how we work. It is how we work, right, as a distro, as, as packagers. We work through OBS. This cultural thing, that's what the ambassadors, you know, try to bring out to the world. And, of course, we, as the central uh, uh, OpenSUSE project, try to give them the tools and, and the information and the staff to be able to do that. So we have all these resources. I should have included a picture, but I didn't. So I just think about lots of posters like this, um, presentation slides, uh, wiki pages with information on, you know, uh, difference between distributions, uh, why we made certain choices, what the focus is of our distro, but also about how we think, what we believe. Because again, that, that is really important, I think, for the ambassadors to get out. 
So, you know, well, I get lots of these, you know, trips to sunny countries and li nice pictures with that. And uh, that's really cool. But, of course, at most of the events, I'm not there, right? It's the ambassadors themselves who organize these events um, or go to the events and, and promote Open Susan. And, um, well, I can have lots of pictures and I really should have had lots of pictures, but I haven't been able to collect a lot of pictures lately due to some, well, personal circumstances, but if you look um, sometimes at news at opensuse.org, we sometimes publish articles about, you know, what our ambassadors do. And a lot of our ambassadors, and I think a lot of you probably follow Planet Open Susan, what you should really do is go to planet.opensuse.org. Because I'm sure that what you follow is the planet in English, and maybe also in your own language. But what you don't do is you go to the global planet, because then you see lots and lots and lots of pictures. Because a lot of ambassadors blog about their event and post those pictures, and that's really, really cool. And yeah, I do that sometimes, you know, just to see all the cool pictures. It's quite cool. There was supposed to be a number here. Um, the good thing is, the number wasn't really important. It was hundreds, but as a matter of fact, that is almost random. So, how many events do we go to? Can can who thinks it's more than uh, 30 here? Can I see hands? Who thinks it's more than 30 per year? So five people think it's more than 30. The rest thinks it's less than 30. Is that correct? Who thinks it's less than 30? Oh, come on, that's weak. So everybody else doesn't think. That's, that's not a compliment, guys. Come on. How many of you think that the OpenSUSE ambassadors, like, all people basically involved with OpenSUSE going to events. Who think that, they're, that they, in total, around the world, attend less than 30 events? So the rest thinks more than 30. Good. <laughs> so more than 50. Who thinks they attend more than 50 events per year? Okay, let's make a bold move. Who thinks more than 100? 150, more than 150. Yeah. I think in 2011 we did 180. <coughs> Quite cool, huh? So we go to a lot of events around the world. And that's in Latin America, that's in Asia. Well, that's a big place, but let's say, you know, um, we just a couple of weeks ago we had COSCAP. How many of you knew about that? Just a few, I guess. Yeah, you knew. So in Coscap, we actually had... Um, uh, Coscap is, is, is the biggest event in Taiwan, in Taipei. And they have a um, couple of thousand people there. Really cool. I went there last year uh, to give a talk and meet a lot of people, meet also a local community there. And this year, they organized an uh, OpenSUSE side event, kind of. So Coscap has three main tracks, and one of those three tracks this year was pure and open SUSE track. So they had a call for paper for that, had a bunch of people giving presentations there. Um, that's, of course, one of the bigger, you know, open SUSE things we did, together with the Open SUSE Summit, of course, in the U.S., which had a lot of people there as well. Um, but I think a lot of you are still wondering, 180. Um, that's a lot of events, right? A lot of those are not really big, but most of the big events around the world, we're there, right? I mean, scale in the U.S. Um, actually, I think this year we didn't manage to make it to Latinoware, which is sad because there are a couple of thousand students there in Brazil. Um, but most of the major events in the world, there's an open source booth. There are open source talks. There are open source people. And they're telling everyone about what we're doing and how we're doing it. They try to spread, you know, all our have a lot of fun philosophy, our our, our geekos, if we have them. Um, and I think, well, this is really, really cool. I mean, th this is the message, right? Okay, I, I do it with kittens, as, as in communicating, not anything else. But... Um, a lot of them probably have a slightly different style. They all do it in their own way. But this is our message. Eh? You can join us. You, you don't have to become a programmer. You don't have to be a programmer or a packager. But you can use OpenSUSE. You can tell other people about OpenSUSE. 
and other distros, by the way, again, all good. We're an open team. And, well, I also wanted to spread this to you, right? There are a lot of people in our community that you will probably never see because they live in Argentina and they can't fly to the OpenSUSE conference due to work, due to finances, due to whatever reasons. But there are really hundreds of people around the world that you never met and you will never met, but they're doing really cool things. They're telling other people about what we are doing here at the conference. I think that mere fact is just incredibly cool. And those things, yeah, you should thank them for that sometimes. Can we get an applause for those people? Come on. Thank you. I think I'll keep it at that. Um, you know these pictures, maybe, maybe not. But if you want to help out the ambassadors, um, Costas here is working on the ambassador program. He has been uh, inviting ambassadors to our list together with... Um, um, Sisrich, what's his? Richard. Yes, exactly. So we have an international ambassador team, and Costas is currently uh, planning on, you know, what we can do to do better helping our ambassadors around the world. We're sending them stuff, as in, you know, T-shirts, DVDs, of course. You all know the OpenSUSE DVDs. Um, can't send beer, but we would do that otherwise if we could. Um, and, of course, we also try to help them on an organizational level. This is what Costas has been working on. And he's going to talk about this more tomorrow, I believe. You yes. But just to give you a taste of where the ambassador program is going, he's going to give us a two-minute, more or less, overview of where the ambassadors are going. Costas. Awesome, dude. Okay. So, me talking two minutes. I'm going to put an effort on that. Uh, so, uh, we decided uh, to change the ambassador program because uh, it was uh, something very general and we had people that uh, didn't want to join the ambassador program because there was no actual reason to join the ambassador program. And uh, we had people joining the ambassador program and didn't know why they were joining the ambassador program. We had similar problems like that. Uh, so, after many conversations with the community, guys like him, uh, we decided uh, to do some work, change it, make it better, and uh, spread it better so that uh, we can make uh, our community more effective, attract more people, and uh, show people uh, who, really, who we really are. So, uh, in a couple of words, I'm going to say that uh, what we mainly change uh, is uh, the definition of ambassadors. Uh, so that uh, only people who are really willing to work come and become an ambassador, because everybody can uh, work for OpenSUSE, can promote OpenSUSE. Uh, he or she doesn't uh, have to be an ambassador to do that. And uh, even if someone wants to organize a local event, OpenSUSE will send him DVDs and T-shirts and stuff. He doesn't have to have a title for it. So we decided uh, to change it. Uh, and uh, we're trying to make uh, ambassadors uh, people that uh, will try to build uh, around uh, the place they live uh, small communities because uh, in order to make a big uh, global community you have to first build small communities, uh, attract people from your neighborhood, from your school, uh, from your cafeteria, I don't know. <laughs> Where you hang out. <laughs> Wherever you hang out. <laughs> and uh, we also uh, plan uh, in the new ambassador program to strengthen uh, those ties uh, between people. Uh, I don't know, but I'm trying to say it in a couple of words, but... Well, it's more about basically having someone oversee the build-up yeah, of the program it's, locally. It's right? uh, more about uh, helping people helping the community and help the community and the community returns to the people it's Be about focusing the resources a little more now we yes. have a huge list of ambassadors but a yeah, lot of we them have not like so 168 active. ambassadors and uh, honestly we have more people that are not ambassadors uh, and are making more active work that an ambassador should do than uh, actual ambassadors doing what they should do yeah it's a bit so messy we're, we're trying to change that uh, because an ambassador is not a boss. 
what we are trying to see, to show here is that ambassador is actually the servant of the community, not the boss of, the, of a local community. That's a nice way to put it. Thank you, uh, Kostas. Thanks. And keep doing this. This is really awesome. See you tomorrow. Yeah, so if you have input, if you have input on this, thank you. If you have input on this, uh, come tomorrow to his bot. What time is it? Uh, he doesn't remember. Wonderful. <laughs> no problem. It's, it's, sorry? 4.30. 4.30. Okay, 4.30. Uh, join Costas for a discussion about this uh, if you have input but also if you want to just know uh, how you can help I mean this is really appreciated right we we also need to to strengthen and improve this program I think and uh, work of Costas and others is really appreciated for that so that's it thank you very much for coming watching and caring about this and again check out uh, planetopensource.org slash global every now and then and you know spread those pictures maybe also in your local communities have a nice day.